Yo, what's going on, my VVOGs, my Omi homies, and everybody else on YouTube? It's your bro, me, the Gale. Back at it again with another VV Drop Results video. All right, so it's been about a day since we had the Harley Quinn Series 2 drop, the first drop of Season 3 of VV, and uh, I just wanted to get this video out there so I can continue to document my journey. So I'm going to show you guys how the Harley Quinn drop went for me and then we're gonna basically call it a day so without further ado let's breeze into it all right so this is the part of the video where i show you how my drop experience went we got 12 seconds left to go and i practice my align gate making sure it's aligned up there so i wait around i wait to around four seconds and i just spam it just to see what happens and uh, i felt pretty good about this one took a little minute to come down but finally got the confirmed purchase screen and uh, it's been a while since I, since I was able to see this screen so it felt good it felt good to know that it's still possible to get something on one of these drops with my phone because I've been striking out recently and I tried for the uncommon so it feels even better because there was only 5,500 of these as opposed to 7,500 with the commons. So I got what I wanted. I liked how this one looked and uh, mission accomplished. So I was pretty satisfied. So I just wait on the screen just to see that green truck. It's been a while since I waited for the truck. So I figured I would do that this time. And uh, yeah, success. There's the truck. And now I go for, I, I see I, I go to see, see if I could get the rare with the rebound technique. And uh, I'm just going back and forth. That's what you do. And I actually got the buy now button, but I was too slow. So that's about that. So these were the two Harleys I was able to get during the drop. I, uh, my sister was able to get the common, and I got the uncommon as you saw earlier. Uh, I didn't really plan on completing this set because I didn't really have the gems to do so. I just wanted to get a few pieces from the first drop of season three. So I'm satisfied with these two. And uh, yeah. All right, so now let's take a look at a look at these pieces in the showroom. This is the the batter. This is the bat one with the one. I don't know what it's called, but I like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at Vivi for these right here. I might have to get a few more. You know, I only got one a piece right now. I like I like her face on this one. Like it look, she looks like I don't know. Look looks devious. You know, and. uh yeah, this one's nice too. Look at that bomb. It'd be nice if like maybe they, they lit the fuse or animated the fuse or something one day. But yeah, man, look at the quality of these NFTs. These are like the best NFTs that you've seen on the internet, right? Like look at the quality of this. Like you, you can't beat you can't beat it. These are VV NFTs, man. And they're only gonna get better. So just wanted to take a look at these in the showroom. You know, I might have to try and complete this set now. Like these look pretty good, so I'll, I'll think about it in the future. Maybe I'll sell something. I don't know, but yeah, that's that. Let's move on. Okay, so now we're back on ecallmewiki.com. Shout out to homie the clown once again for this awesome resource that I like to use. Uh, I just wanted to check out the current prices so we can see for the record what they are going for. So, the Ultra Rare cost $90. It's currently $569 for a 532 percentage gain. Uh, let's see. The Rare cost $70 on the drop. It is currently holding a value of $193 for a 175 percentage gain. Let's see, let's see. The Common cost $40. It's currently going for $63, so about a $20 profit from there, 59% gain. And the Uncommon cost $50 during the drop, and it's currently $107 for a percentage gain of 114%. So, that is the current prices for the record. So, uh, I think, yeah, moving on. Oh, yeah. I forgot to show you guys my Thor comic that I was able to get. So I got was able to get number 463, 
once again thanks to my sister i'm telling you man you need you, sometimes sometimes it, you need a little help you know you might miss out on the drop but you're uh you know but somebody else might get it for you that's how it is out here these days man but anyway there was only 6,000 variant covers of this one only 10,000 total comics so i do believe i'll keep this one this is like my lowest comic yet so i'm pretty happy about that i only have one of these so far and uh i think i'm i don't think i'll be buying any more there's like a floor of 99 gems so this is a good comic to have at least one of so i'm happy about i'm happy that i got a low mint of this one and he might be in the future marvel movies as a recent tweet popped up actually let's see if i can find it so yeah shout out to bv universal at bv universal on twitter uh it says thor 4 may feature the worthiest god of thunder variant it may finally be time for the best thor variant to show up in the mcu so this is beta ray bill just like the comic i was showing you guys and it seems like Marvel is using Vivi to promote future villains and heroes that's going to show up in the MCU. Uh, we already have Kang, and uh, they they just recently dropped um, uh, Peggy Carter, Captain Peggy Carter, from the What If series. So it's very bullish and very cool that uh, Marvel is using Vivi to promote future MCU characters. That's a that's a huge validation that Vivi is like you know taking the right steps and they're probably going to go to the moon it's very cool and it's uh very cool to be a part of so yeah you might want to get a comic if you can afford one not financial advice and that's the video my friends if you made it this far thank you for watching if you learned something or enjoyed the content feel free to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing for more content like this so we got our first drop out the way for season three with plenty more to go i'm sure we haven't had any word of any future drops, so we might get that today. And uh, yeah, we got a whole bunch more stuff on the way. Immutable, Money Transmitter, All Me to NFT, Showroom 2.0, Master Collector Program, all that jazz, and more that we don't even know about. So stay tuned and uh, buckle up. And with that being said, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm no expert. I'm just your friendly neighborhood genius who is learning along with you guys, but I'm documenting my journey and sharing my opinions and thoughts on this awesome app known as Vivi. So take everything that I say with a grain of salt because I could be wrong. And with that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Until then, peace out and huddle strong. Later.